Muscle arthritis can be to support out of the CFTC. They increase both euro long and short positioning, but uh, percentage-wise, not much of a change there. Still at a heavy long 73%, still anticipating further price gains. Where they aren't anticipating further price gains is in the pound. Fresh round of negotiations this week. They've actually upped their majority short bias, and uh, that's because of an increase in short positions. You can see they've taken up their short bias a notch. Safe haven currencies, they remain majority long in both. There was a big in increase in both long and short positioning for the Swiss franc, and uh, you can see that the majority long bias are not that far off from shifting to majority short. When it comes to commodity currencies, the, the bigger change so far has been in the uh, Australian dollar and the New Zealand dollar. You can see that for the Australian dollar, they were holding a real heavy short bias just a few weeks back, around 72%, and now it's down to just a slight majority short bias, not that far from shifting to majority long. Where it has shifted is in the New Zealand dollar. They were also heavy short just a few weeks back. They're now 50-50 in the middle. When it comes to commodities, oil, extreme long bias, taking it up a notch, not much of a story there. And when it comes to gold, well, there too, they've increased their, their extreme long bias, taking it up a notch. For the remaining precious metals, let's face it, it's not, they're, you know, they're not in extreme long territory, uh, but uh, we have seen platinum and silver buys there dropping slightly. And lastly, in indices, while well, they remain conflicted, in this case, they remain majority long and actually taken up their long buys to a heavy long 68% in the tech heavy NASDAQ. They're also majority long Russell, but when it comes to the Dow and the S&P, they remain majority short, heavy short for the Dow at 76%. For the S&P, there's been a real unwinding of short positions there. So they're still majority short though, and it's dropped to just for the S&P.